So uh, I didn't do too well in school. Uh, I did eventually get my diploma from Subway University. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Denzel Washington gave the keynote address. Might have been Steve from accounting. Uh, not sure. Uh, what I did notice in school was the, uh, the missing elements on the periodic table. Like, what about the element of surprise? <laughs> I recently started taking acting classes to kind of like hone my craft. That was the element of suspense. <laughs> it's the only one I know, I just took the one class. But uh, there's a guy there and he has no hands. I'm pretty sure he's been taking acting classes for a while because he acts like he has hands. <laughs> Don't lie to me, I know you didn't tie those shoelaces. <laughs> uh, uh, I went to the doctor and he asked me about my family like medical history. So I told him, I have a brother with no balls. Uh, my boss at work got fired for incontinence, which is ironic because when the crew found out, we all pissed ourselves. I think as a society, we say excuse me too much. Everybody farts. I think instead of excuse me, we should just say, wow. Yeah. Uh, and reserve excuse me for like special occasions, like when you run over someone with your car. Someone told me I have a face like an Amish vagina, and I thought, that's nice. The Amish are a kind and industrious people. There, there's a guy at work who, when he gets upset, he says, arr, pissing my ass. And I think the logistics would be difficult. <laughs> uh, I have a five-year-old daughter. She goes to a lot of birthday parties. And this year, my wife put me in charge of getting gifts. So one kid got a half a meatball sub. Uh, one kid got a hammer I found in the garden. And the last kid got a BB gun. So now, I have a BB gun, and my daughter does not get invited to parties. Online dating is how I met my wife. I don't recommend it. Uh, I read a church billboard that said, Jesus is coming soon. And I thought, only if Mrs. Jesus says it's okay. Uh, I recently did a show in Victoria at a, at a pot cafe. That was easy. Uh, I hate that town. Victoria is such a crap hole that Terry Fox died to avoid going there. I found a shoe on the highway and I thought, someone's day is not going according to plan. Then I saw a guy with one leg and I made his day. <laughs> I donated a cake to the Diabetes Foundation before reading their mission statement. <laughs> so uh, I, do, I, I do have a daughter, she's five. Uh, but when she was first born, she was so tiny. And I'd always be nervous when I was, when I was holding her, right? I'd be nervous and I'd be shaking a little bit. I'd be so nervous. And one time she fell asleep when I was doing this and I thought I shook her, right? Like, don't shake the baby. So, ah. so I called the health nurse. Uh, they sent a couple social workers over to the house. Uh, and they, they looked in the cupboards, they, they looked in the fridge, asked me a ton of questions. And in the end they said, Mr. Colbert, you're a wonderful father, you're a great parent. You have nothing to worry about, the child is fine. And I was like, well, I was really concerned. Like, how do you know? What does that look like? Like, I thought I shook her. How do you, how do you know? And she takes my little bundle of joy, and she goes, shut the fuck up! Uh, she's fine. She keeps growing. I push on her little head. I say, stop growing. 
Uh, one time when she was uh, she was three, she climbed up on my lap and she got her little fingers in my beard and she goes, Daddy! And I look over, of course, to see what she wants. And she goes, she goes, Daddy, Daddy, you're a broccoli. I'm gonna eat you, you're a broccoli. So I uh, karate chop her in the neck. She goes down like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> it's a big deal, right? The cops came, incident. <laughs> And, uh, but I'm, I'm talking to the officer, I say, listen, don't worry, officer, I say, I don't want to press charges. I think she's learned her lesson. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks a lot, you've been great. Have a good night.